Hollywood's obsession with revisiting lucrative franchises isn't going anywhere, but sequels aren't always such a bad thing. The world is a better place thanks to the likes of The Empire Strikes Back, The Godfather Part II and Mad Max Fury Road. From elusive final chapters in unfinished trilogies to the long-awaited follow-ups we've been promised since time immemorial, there are tantalizing sequel ideas out there that simply must be pushed into development post-haste. I'm Ben from What Culture, and here are 10 movie sequels that better happen in 2018. Or, I don't know. I'll go mad. Number 10. Bill and Ted 3 When we last saw Bill and Ted, they were battling their robot doubles playing in a band with death on bass and shaking the pillars of heaven and hell alike. Admittedly, their bogus journey wasn't quite as far out as their original romp through time, but Wild Stallions, I've read that as it's written, ruled nonetheless, and the 90s nostalgia would be off the charts if they returned for a third outing. Talk of Bill and Ted 3 dates back decades, but it took key steps towards the realm of reality in recent years when lead actors Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter pledged their commitment to the project in spite of the alleged red tape holding it up in show business land. Number 9. The Goonies 2 Stranger Things has done its best to fill the Goonies-shaped void in our hearts, but we still live in hope that the original gang may one day ride again. Director Richard Donner went on record in 2014 to confirm that Mikey, Data, Chunk and their pals are gearing up for a second outing with all of the original cast on board. However, this isn't exactly true since Corey Feldman downplayed his involvement only last year and co-star Martha Plimpton is equally pessimistic. Seeing as Donner is now in his late 80s, if the long-awaited sequel doesn't happen within the next year, it may be off the table forever. Number 8. Beetlejuice 2 The Ghost with the Most's 1988 debut struck a balance between bizarreness, comedy and horror, catapulting Michael Keaton to stardom in the process. Keaton has expressed eagerness to one day revisit the role, and an unproduced sequel titled Beetlejuice Goes Hawaiian got as far as the scripting stage. Given the title, it's probably for the best that this idea never came to fruition, but serious talk of fresh sequel plans have been battered around Hollywood since 2012. Number 7. Gremlins 3 since the second entry in the horror comedy series dropped in 1990, there's been nothing but tumbleweeds. But serious talk about the new batch of gremlins emerged late last year. Zach Galligan, who played Billy Peltzer in the first two films, was quoted in December 2016 as saying that Gremlins 3 is moving forwards with Warner Bros., Steven Spielberg, and Chris Columbus attached. In fact, very recently, Mr. Columbus claimed the script is complete and ready to go. So there you are. Number 6. Master and Commander 2 the Russell Crowe-fronted Napoleonic War epic won two Oscars and was nominated for eight others, as well as netting a not-too-shabby box office haul of $212 million. Master and Commander has ultimately gone down as one of those failed attempts to launch a series, which seems like an unfair way to remember such a critically acclaimed film, but that almost wasn't the case. Writer-director Peter Weir has always downplayed rumors of a sequel, but Crowe has been vocal about his enthusiasm for one. Number 5. Kick-Ass 3 Kick-Ass and its sequel are faithful adaptations of Mark Miller's gritty superhero comedy comic book, and Hit-Girl is still the coolest thing in a cape, so there. The second installment fared poorly from a critical standpoint, but still pulled in a half-decent $60.7 million against a budget of $28 million. However, as far as the fans are concerned, it would be a shame if the trilogy was never completed on screen, especially when you consider the third chapter of Miller's comic book series was the pick of the bunch. Hit-Girl herself, Chloe Grace Moretz, has proclaimed the Kick-Ass franchise dead, but lead actor Aaron Taylor-Johnson refuses to write off a third installment indefinitely. Number 4. Bad Boys for Life Bad Boys for Life is the long-mooted third entry in the Bad Boys series, which pairs up Will Smith and Martin Lawrence's freewheeling Miami narcotics detectives. We've waited 15 years to see the duo in action again, and the initial plan was to have those bad boys coming for us in their third screen outing in November 2018, but that was before director Joe Carnahan exited the project to work on the English-language remake of Indonesian action movie The Raid. You don't need to do that, Joe! The Raid was excellent, and it had subtitles! Learn to read! Number 3. The Simpsons Movie 2 The Simpsons Movie was a throwback to that wonderful time when Fox's animated show about a yellow-skinned family was the greatest thing on Earth. It may not have matched the quality of the series' heyday, but it was an admirable attempt to pull off that unlikely feat. The Simpsons has been, in a word, stale on the small screen in recent years, so 2018 would be a good time to take them in a more ambitious direction with another film. If that's not happening anytime soon, though, can we at least maybe have a Futurama film? Please, that would be nice, thank you. Number 2. Beverly Hills Cop 4 Beverly Hills Cop's road back to Hollywood has been a rocky one, but it might soon 
be coming to an end. We last saw Eddie Murphy's mouthy law enforcer Axel Foley on screen back in 1994's Beverly Hills Cop 3, but it sounds like the fourth installment is edging forward with producer Jerry Bruckheimer attached. Murphy is, of course, on board, and why wouldn't he be, considering it's one of his most popular roles and his career is, um... Uh... Has anyone seen Eddie? Supposedly, the screenwriters behind Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol are penning a treatment for the sequel, so hopefully Foley's all-new adventure is very much alive. Number 1. Zombieland 2 As far as horror comedies go, Zombieland had everything. Likeable characters, cool special effects, and even an undead Bill Murray! Have you got that, Shaun of the Dead? I don't think you have. A sequel to the 2009 hit, however, has been heading for the cinemas something to do with zombies and speed. Uh, maybe a metaphor or a simile put that in there. But it sounds like it's still happening. Deadpool writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick are said to have completed their script for Zombieland 2, and the original cast are big fans of it. Director Ruben Fleischer is also on board, but there's still red tape at Sony Pictures in the form of budget discussions, and Amy Pascal is probably to blame for all of it. And that's our list. Make sure you subscribe to the What Culture YouTube channel for more lists like this, and don't forget to visit whatculture.com for daily news and articles. I'm Ben from What Culture. You can follow me on Twitter at confused underscore dude, and thanks for watching.